My name is Dominic. Hi, everybody. Hey, Dominic. Um, okay, so my first question is, uh, earlier you mentioned that uh, people often lie to make themselves look good. Yeah. All right, I said that. Okay, so my question is, what, has that ever occurred to you that possibly maybe the, the writers, the creators of the Bible possibly lied in reverence for power? Well, you could, that's, that's a good question. You could surmise that. The problem is they didn't get any power. What they got was uh, abuse. Um, because animals don't have morals, do you think that they would go to heaven? Except cats. <laughs> say it again. Okay, well, I just wanted to say I'm glad that I came. I enjoyed the message. I originally didn't intend on coming, but I listened to the Lord and He told me to come. And I have the courage to speak the truth about what I believe in. Okay, so here's my point because my name actually isn't Don. Okay, my name is actually Tom. So, the point I'm making here is because, like, in our consciousness, like, if I would have never told you what my real name was, you would have went here, and everybody in the room would have went their entire life thinking that my name was Dominic. Whether or not that may not have been a big deal or not, that's just the point I'm trying to make. Like, people can say things, but that doesn't always mean it's true, and there's no absolute tangible evidence to any of your ideas whatsoever. And every single one of your testimonies is coming out of somebody's mouth from something that none of us have ever observed before. It's just passed down world tradition. So I don't see how that can last over thousands of years in a, in a very correct form. All right, well, that's, that's an opinion you have there, Tommy. But you, would, you have just dispensed with every history department in America by saying that. You realize that. OK, can you elaborate, please? Well, if, if you're saying we can't know history because it happened hundreds of thousands of years ago, then there should be no history department at any major university, because yeah, that's what they I do. I agree. Well, my question, you know, somebody asked me is, do you believe in evolution? What do you mean by evolution? So how would you define it? Uh, well, why don't you define it? You know, I noticed a lot of these discussions you get, uh, and you, you turn it back and ask, uh, you have one student on this watch on some of your website. I can do it, but I'm going to turn it back on you. What do you define as that? Well, you're making it too hard on it. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, listen. Well, I make it hard on it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stephen. Um, Stephen. I saw a lot of points with your argument that we could spend like four hours on talking about. Oh, no, 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 no. We could spend four years talking about <laughs> <laughs> That's the fun of this stuff, man. Hi, I'm Kyle. Hey, Kyle. I'm an atheist. Um, hey, thanks for coming. Of course, of course. Um, I love uh, hearing these kind of debates and stuff. Um, you asked why would you be a atheist if you possibly might know if God exists. My answer to that question is simple. It's just the fact that there's so many terrible things in the Bible. Like at one point, um, Jesus says to you know one of his disciples, "It's great that they're you know torturing their slaves here, but only lightly. Even though, even though they did nothing wrong, it's great that they're doing." Okay, it. but the question is, and maybe I'm just not stating it properly. What's wrong with murder if there's no God? Why shouldn't I kill other people to get what I want if there's no God? Because it doesn't help society. But why do I care about society? Because we no as a God. group shouldn't worry about society. We should be making the betterment of ourselves. But Kyle, you're, you're importing a moral law into a frame that has no moral law. You're, as an atheist, you're trying to say there is no God, which means there is no standard of rightness out there. But I'm saying this is my personal standard of rightness which would mean somebody else could come along like Hitler or Stalin and say, Kyle, if there's no standard beyond neither you or me, then I can do whatever I want, including killing you to get what you have. That's a very good point. It's a very good point. <laughs> One of those old people that you, you know, remembered. Uh, I'm, I'm, with you. <laughs> I'm up way past my bedtime, by the way. Exactly, and that's my argument. It, it, that that we, have a, we have an incapacity. But you see, you're using human log logic to say that, Bob, so why should you believe what you say? I don't. <laughs> uh, I'm here I'm here to hear what you have to say. And I think you've done I think you've done a marvelous job. Thank you. <laughs>
sound like this entire thing is. It sounds you, like you're trying to push this Tommy, topic Tommy, that you don't know upon you. Tommy, 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 Tommy. Everybody has to evaluate the evidence and make a decision for themselves yeah. as to whether or not what they said is true. I've given evidence that I think what they said is true. There's good reason to believe it. Am I absolutely sure? No, I could be wrong. Okay? But do you believe, say, George Washington existed? I mean, for what people say, possibly, yes. Okay! Well, <laughs> 